Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you the five best creative maps in the entire game. Just make sure that you are using at least one of these creative maps in your warm-up and you will be full chilling. If you do enjoy videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Help me reach 10k subscribers. And use my support creative code in the item shop if you are in game right now. The first map we're going to be using to improve your mechanics to a god tier level is Peace Control Free Build Map. This map is kind of old but it's still really good at what it does and it helps you basically learn the grid system properly and free build properly through all the builds. Make sure as you're free building you're focusing on consistency, not on speed. And you can see exactly how this is actually going to help you in game. And yeah, that's it for the first map. It's actually an incredible map to get warmed up in. Just make sure you're focusing on consistency over everything else. The next map we are going to be using is Raiders Mechanics Training V2. It's actually just the best map in the game. It has everything you'll need. Now I have gone through this in a recent video, so I'm not going to go through it again. But just quickly picking out the best things to do in this map. Peace Control Fundamentals, Build Replace, Peak Shots. And that's really it to be honest. I would do the Peace Control Tunnels, but it's not necessary to do each time. And then for, if you do want to do editing from different angles, make sure to do the close edits and also the blueprint edits. But yeah, that's that for that map. I'm not really going to go through it because I have been through it in a recent video. Another map that you should most definitely be using is Scavox Aim Trainer. Now, if you haven't added this to your routine already, you should probably add this to your routine. As you probably know, having good SMG aim is probably the most important thing in the game right now. It probably always good peace control, good mechanics, everything. Which is pretty sad, but clearly Epic cares more about the casual scene than the competitive scene. Now, you should already have weapons loaded out into your inventory right now. And then the ones that I would recommend you do is horizontal tracking. But with horizontal tracking, just use your SMG. Warming up your hit fire aim is way more important than warming up your actual ADS aim. As your ADS aim is probably going to be lower than your actual hit fire aim. So it's going to be way easier to hit shots on your ADS aim as it is lower sensitivity. For most of us anyway. To go through this, just make sure to do the whole one minute for however long this one time trial area. After done about one or two of those, you should feel your hit fire sensitivity starting to warm up a lot more. Vertical tracking also, and do the exact same 25 time trial. After you finish both of those, you should feel your mouse smoothness increasing after you finish both of those you should feel your hit fire sensitivity starting to warm up a lot more and then what i'd recommend you do is this scenario called bounce it's one of my favorite scenarios you can use your shotgun and your smg for this one but hit fire tracking is incredible reaction fs is incredible and reaction bf is incredible so reaction bf is this one where up in your box you have to flick to them instantly let's help you switch your smg You can physically see how this is going to help you in game as most of this fighting these days is someone jumping in your box and this will help you so much with hitting your max damage shots while someone just jumps in your box with an SMG. Well, I don't feel like it's just quicker at killing someone with an SMG than swapping with shotgun SMG. Look at that bro, How, you, shouldn't be, you shouldn't be able to do that. The game should not run like this. <laughs> oh, it's whatever there. Mm. 
Oops. Reaction FS is also really good. But let's say end game. You're trying to look for some refreshes and you're looking around everywhere. You need to react to somebody dropping on your wall or running past you or sliding past you. This is an incredible scenario to play. Like it's actually so good. Reaction time is something you need to be training every day if you can. You don't have to, obviously, but reaction flicking, reaction timing, reaction speeds. It's so important in Fortnite. Everything is happening so quickly. Yeah, you can see how the scenario also helps you a lot. And if you can physically see how a scenario can help you in game, that shows that it's an incredible scenario to play. So yeah, I'd recommend playing this one. Then the last scenario on this whole area is going to be Bounce 360, 300 HP, Amchar. And this one, you're going to focus on switching shotgun SMG and tracking with SMG. The practicing flicking and then tracking, but most importantly, the transition between flicking and tracking. That's going to be it for this map. We're going to go to the next one right now. Yeah, so the next map, the next map we are going to be using is this 1v1 map. In this, you want to focus on literally using cones as much as possible to pre-box and just to outplay the opponent every time. And as you can see, you're going to start to realize that you can use cones in literally every situation to help you win fights. So yeah, as you go on fighting players, just make sure you focus on using cones, using exploits, using peaks, using right hand peaks and jumping in. But yeah, just focus on one of those at a time if you want to. I know it's a lot to focus on all at the same time. But yeah, as long as you focus on at least one of those each time you practice in this map, you will be improving from playing it. So right now I am focusing on using cones in every situation. As you can see, it will help me a lot. Yeah, just make sure you have at least one of those as your focus point while you're fighting players. Now, I'd recommend that you focus on peaks first, around peaks, and then focus on jumping in and applying pressure. And then you can focus on using cones to pre-box and block the player from getting hurt. But even if you see, I am like overusing them. But that all, all that means is that I'm learning the right, play, the right times to start actually using them properly. So yeah, it might seem like I'm overusing them at the, at the moment, but as I get better at using them, I'm going to realize that when's actually the right time to use them and how I can actually use them for my own gain. That's how it is, to be honest. You just kind of have to overuse something until you actually realize when it's usable and when it's viable to use that exact same thing that you've practiced in game. If that makes any sense, I think that's a terrible way of explaining it, but I don't know. Oh, there's no way you just killed me there. GG's. Now the next map on. The next, for this, for this map, I would recommend turning your sound effects all the way down to zero and just listening to some music while playing because that noise is really irritating. 
It's not even a nice pump noise either. It's a terrible striker pump shot. And yeah, just focus on hitting your max damage shots. If you just go in this map for 10 minutes every single day, you're going to see some proper improvement in your striker pump shot. Or just your aim in general. Like This map helps everything. Trigger discipline, accuracy, flicks, even some tracking, predictions. The player movements literally helps up so much in this one little map. If you pick at least one of these maps for each of the areas in Fortnite, so aim, edits, building, then you will improve dramatically. So at least one of these. For aim, I would recommend this and the Scavox aim trainer as aim is the most important mechanic in the game. But for building, I would recommend so for building, I would recommend either the Crank Simulator or the Free Building Peace Control map. For edits, I would definitely recommend the Mechanics Training map. And for aim, Scavox Aim Trainer and this map, obviously. So yeah, these are the five best. Let me just kill this kid. I need this kid dead. Nice, no, alright. These are the five best Mechanics Training maps in the game right now. So just make sure that you're grinding at least two of these or three of these and then just go straight into arena or 1v1s or whatever you like to grind and just grind out in there. That's going to be it for the end of this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. If you are in game right now, make sure to use my credit code in the item shop. I do try and reply and heart all the comments, so comment if you want to. So thank you for watching and peace. This is a